long-term gains, and I think everybody is accepted, okay, maybe that will pass. The long-term impact, and especially as somebody who works with farmers, who works with the small daily wage workers, the fact that we see that many people at railway stations are catching the train home because they've been told that you come back when we have jobs. The worry, the shrinking in manufacturing, figures coming out this week saying that two-wheeler sales, which of course again a sign the rural economy are down, it may be short-term, it may be one quarter. Do, are you optimistic about that or do you think that is, as Deepak Parikh put it, that this is, will derail the economy? Uh, first two clarifications. Uh, it's absolutely compatible, the two claims that you made, that people who needed to know did not know. And those who did not need to and know, and that's possible. Yeah. Look, look, yeah. all I'm saying I mean, is that... You can make theories, right? I mean, those are no, theories. They can't be theoretically. I don't buy theories like that. that. I don't buy well, theories I like that. I don't buy theories like that. I don't buy theories, sir. I'm simply making there were people, a logical there was, there was a logical argument. What I'm, I'm, what I'm also saying, sir, please? is... Let, <laughs> there is also a paper in Kanpur which uh, which published a report saying this could happen. You know, it's like I, tomorrow it could sir, rain and it will rain. Okay, but uh, Arvind, let me finish sir, yeah, please, sir, go ahead. A paper in Kanpur, it's the largest circulating daily of this country and, still and the possibly media didn't get of to the for world, it. which has all the single details of the scheme that was coming. So let's, I mean, I'm not getting into all these things. No, but the stuff is then, then it was known. But, but both of us, so let him finish what he's saying. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, uh, and secondly, I really thought BJP person would say, yes, we expect the entire money to come because now they have a VDIS scheme. And if the entire money doesn't come, there's something wrong with the government. I really thought the government would offer a more intelligent defense of what it was doing. Uh, on the more the serious stuff, scheme. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yes, of the course. Now the government should want all the money to come that's, back. I'm so the the VDIS scheme, will increase. It would be a failure of the government if the entire 14.5 crore does not land up in its vault. So they should be hoping, praying, loudly claiming it now that they've changed the scheme midway. Uh, you know, that's what happens. If you don't think a scheme through, you don't even think it's publicity through very carefully. Uh, on the point that you made, I think that's a very, very serious thing that we are talking about. I don't think anyone in this government thought seriously about the consequences it would have beyond these small islands of metropolitan India that all of us are obsessed with, that there are substantial number of Indians who live beyond the banking system. Yeah. I remember, Mr. Arvind Gupta, we were together on the, that show that very evening. That's right. And you said every 99% of Indian families are households, are households. Yes. are banking today. I mean, this is an astonishing statement. I had said it that day, and it reflects something of the mindset of the policy makers in this country. Please remember, large majority of Indians in their everyday dealing, in their long-term dealing, have nothing to do with this thing called the banking system. They are legitimate citizens of your country. Farmers, agricultural laborers, those who survive on Dihari in these metropolitan India, the petty trader, all of them have been hit so hard. Now, if it was absolutely essential, yes, the country has to take all the things, provided every citizen suffers equally. My only question is, did you even anticipate it? Yesterday on NDTV show, I saw the minister of the government say, these are unintended consequences. Our intentions are nice. Now, this is the worst thing that any economic policy can say about itself. Our intentions were nice. This is like someone uh, creating a bad aeroplane and said, my intention was that it would fly. But again, as a political analyst, if, the pe if you're winning elections, why would the BJP change its views on it? The BJP says this is a policy which the people of India are voting for, because frankly, all these were mini referendums on this uh, policy, and the uh, BJP has won those. Can, can I comment? Uh, BJP can has done, in, in the short term, BJP has done very well. Uh, which is a comment both on the on the power and the communicative ability of the Prime Minister, on the sheer media control that they have, unprecedented media control that the government did not have even during emergency. But it is also a well, comment... Well, you're on a media show saying yes. what you want about the Prime Minister, so no, is Kalikesh, not, not so is Raghav Chadda, so in that sense, is, is, is Arvind yes. is hoping that there was Sorry. some control because he's... he's no, I'm not hoping for any you. No, in a sense... Sonia, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, we have... The government exercising, not through law, not through censorship rules, but the kind of media control that the government exercises today is unprecedented. But I'm saying something else. It is equally a comment on the opposition of this country. Uh, the UPA and much of the opposition enjoys zero.